Hey, what is up guys, Klaus Next here, and welcome to Fitness Gimmick Friday, the Friday where I rip apart some stupid fitness gimmick that everybody seems to believe works. Today's fitness gimmick is going to be the yoga ball, and not the yoga ball that you use in the gym to exercise. That's fine, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm talking about the yoga ball you use as a chair, you know, like an office chair, or just the kind of thing you walk into a room and you see someone has a yoga ball chair and you're just like, uh, okay, yeah. I you don't want to say anything like to that person like about their chair because like are they are they making healthier choices than me? I don't know. Or maybe you ask that person, hey, does does that actually work? And then they say, I I hope so because if it doesn't work, then I just spent two hundred dollars on a rubber piece of air. Okay, so let's talk about the premise of the yoga ball chair. So what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to, I mean, a improve your posture, improve your core strength, stability, and it's supposed to be good for your back and burn more calories than sitting in a regular chair, which is kind of an odd thought because I've never thought of myself as burning calories sitting in a chair. But I guess there are those people that are willing to go that extra mile to burn calories even when they're sitting. Let's break down these points, okay? Well, the first reason that the yoga ball chair is probably not a good idea is because your hips should be higher than your knees if you're sitting in good form. Otherwise, you're slouching and your legs are up. That's not gonna be great for your posture at all. So you're gonna have to make sure that that thing has the perfect amount of air in it at all times. You can't ever get lazy, even though you're putting like, you know, if it's your office chair, eight hours of pressure on that ball, you're gonna be pumping that thing up every day. So if you do end up with your knees a little bit higher than your hips, your posture in your back, you're not gonna keep that form at all. You're just gonna adapt to whatever amount of air is in the ball at the time. That's what your form is gonna be. And the other big thing is that it's supposed to engage your core because your core is engaged when, you know, these muscles are working, these muscles are working, and they're holding you upright. Okay, that's kind of like their job, your core muscle's job, is to keep you upright. Sitting in this chair, sure, my core has no trouble keeping me upright. I'm sitting here in pretty good form without doing much thinking about it at all. But you put me on a, bouncy rubber chair my core muscles are going to be firing the whole time and you know what by the end of it your core just gets tired and you just end up sludging anyway there's no way you can maintain good posture on a yoga ball at all times as a long-term solution it's just going to be a lot more work your back's going to get tired you're going to end up slouching anyway studies actually show oh oh hey hey guys he's bringing he's bringing out the studies he said the studies were and he knows what he's talking about yoga balls can actually just end up making your posture worse for that reason why because a good chair provides good posture when it supports you right supports your lower back supports your hips that kind of push you into that upright position and prevent you from tilting your hips and slugs. So yoga balls, they don't have that lower lumbar support. So then you go and you, you buy one of these things. It's the chair that you can put your ball into, which is like, at that point, you may as well just be sitting in a, <laughs> sitting in a chair. So you put the ball in the chair and now you got some lumbar support. And if you're lucky, you even get a couple of nice little arm rests, which is like, dude, what are you doing sitting on a yoga ball at that point? Now you just look like a goof because the thing isn't even rolling around anymore. You can't bounce on it for air anymore. And if somebody walks in the room or heaven forbid, you need to go open a drawer somewhere, the thing's not even gonna move with you. So at that point, you may as well just be sitting in a normal chair. And like back to the calories thing, studies actually show that you do burn more calories sitting on a yoga ball chair as opposed to a regular chair, a whole four calories an hour. I mean, maybe if you were, you were really on that cut and you're really on that summer grind to get as lean as possible. You're sitting on a yoga ball all day. Maybe those calories could add up every day. But for the average Joe, that's pretty useless. I burn more calories than that with my dust allergy walking into new rooms, sneezing away, tiring my lungs out because I have the most useless superpower ever. The ability to sense dust in a room. Okay, so there's there's gotta be some good in the yoga ball, right? There's gotta be some shining light to redeem this product. I'm gonna say that the yoga ball is kind of a cool concept. If you're not using it as your office chair for eight hours, maybe if you're like the kind of person who's kind of like always on the go, you know, you're only like sitting for like five, 10 minutes at a time, sure, go for it. It's not gonna do enough damage to you to ruin your posture when you're sitting. You're probably not gonna redeem much benefits from it, but you know, you might just be sitting for a short amount enough time. You might just be, si you might just be sitting for a short enough amount of time that your core doesn't get tired, you can reap a little bit of benefits of strengthening your core before you dip and go, I don't know, sit on a normal chair. I think it could also be good if like, you're a student and you get super like, high energy and anxious in the classroom. You need something just to move with. You know, there's different types of learners. Some some people are kinesthetic and they, love, they like that feel, they like that motion. So if you have a classroom full of high energy kids that need to 
burn off some steam, Google Ball will be a good way for them to do that while they try and pay attention. So I'm sure that there's like some other good points for the Yoga Ball, but my point of this video is to say that it is not a good health and fitness product alternative to you strengthening your core and I don't know, looking like a healthy person in public. This fitness gimmick has been good.